Have you ever wondered why we are seeing dramatic increases in health problems since our great-grandparents' time? A hundred years ago, people mainly lived and worked outdoors. Many were farmers. Clothes were hung outside to dry. Children played outdoors. Almost everyone spent most of their day outdoors. They rode horses. But now things have changed. Most of us work and play indoors, where we have air conditioning. We work more on computers than on farms. We wash and dry our clothes indoors. We watch TV and surf the internet and play video games. We ride in air-conditioned autos and airplanes and trucks. We even swim indoors. So what does all this indoor activity mean? Less sun. Could less sun be associated with more disease? Let's find out. From sunlight, our skin makes a vital substance, vitamin D. Vitamin D, which is actually a hormone rather than a vitamin, has a major impact on our bodies. It increases activation in more than 2,000 genes. This increased gene activation allows the body to combat disease. In fact, over 5,000 scientific studies have shown the clear association of vitamin D deficiency with more than 100 diseases and health problems, most of which have seen dramatic increases over the past 50 years. These include some of the big ones, cancer, diabetes, osteoporosis, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, obesity, and heart disease. Even rickets, which supposedly had gone away 80 years ago, has reappeared. Are you at risk for these diseases? Do you get enough vitamin D? Probably not. More than 9 out of 10 people worldwide don't get enough vitamin D. Ask yourself, do you spend a lot of time indoors? Do you wear sunscreen or protective clothing when you go outdoors? Many people think that 10 minutes outdoors is enough to get all the vitamin D they need from the sun. But the fact is, for most people, that unless you spend a fair amount of time outdoors every day in full sun with minimal clothing and no sunscreen, you aren't getting enough vitamin D to protect against disease. You need to stay in the sun for three hours if you are standing up in a short sleeve shirt, 20 minutes if you are lying down in a bathing suit. Even food no longer provides as much vitamin D as it did 100 years ago. For example, in 1900, pie crust was made with lard from pigs raised outdoors. Back then, just one piece of a double crust pie provided 2,000 international units of vitamin D. Today, pie crust is made from vegetable oil or shortening. How much vitamin D? Zero. The good news is, you don't need sunlight or lard from pigs raised outdoors in order to get your vitamin D. A simple supplement can provide all you need to prevent or even treat serious disease. But how do you find out if you have enough vitamin D? You can, of course, have a blood test. A reading of at least 40 nanograms per milliliter or 100 nanomoles per liter is optimal. Or you can do a quick, easy test on yourself. Just press hard on each of your shin bones, and then on your sternum, the bone in your chest between your lowest ribs. Did at least two of them hurt? Sore bones is an indication that you are probably very deficient. So, let's say you are deficient. This is very likely if you have a major disease or are elderly, have had recent surgery or illness, or you are pregnant. A breastfed infant would also be at risk. How much vitamin D should you take? This, of course, would depend on your individual situation, but many studies indicate that 4,000 international units daily is necessary to bring the average adult up to 40 nanograms and maintain this healthy level. If you know you are at risk for being deficient, you might want to start with a larger dose. You may also want to take more than 4,000 international units of vitamin D daily if you are elderly, obese, or plan soon to get pregnant or have surgery. You should start feeling noticeably healthier and more energetic within a few days to weeks. Are people starting to notice the benefits of vitamin D? You bet. When one doctor raised all of his patients' levels to 80 nanograms or 200 nanomoles, he noticed that no matter their age or health condition, their average of four office visits per year dropped down to one visit. More and more people are getting vitamin D tests, a ten times increase in just three years.
And research on vitamin D has accelerated. More research has been done on vitamin D than on vitamin A, C, E, and K combined. So, if you want to feel better or get or stay healthy, taking a vitamin D supplement is probably the single best thing you can do for your body. And it won't cost you a trip to Hawaii.